Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Hannah. Today, I'm in Bloxburg Roblox, and that is because I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how you can make more money in Bloxburg. Before I get started, make sure you guys subscribe to big thumbs up and turn the notification bell to us and post videos. Let's get started. So, when I say make more money, I say making more money in general. It does not just mean by like, you know, working as a job, but just like anything. But most of these are job related because that's the best and fastest way you can make money. The first tip is to work as um look at Pizza Planet. So Pizza Planet has the best jobs. It has two jobs, which is not a lot, but a baker and a pizza deliverer. This would bring me to number two, but Pizza Planet will make you earn the most money and this goes to two if you work as a pizza deliverer. Like if you if you deliver pizzas that will guarantee you make the most money like i am on like hold on level 43 for delivery person and i make like 2000 or whatever 50 you make so much but this also brings me to three if having your moods up you make so much more money as well because if your moods are all like a hundred or if they're like all in like the green area, like my moods are not the best. Only my energy is good. Um, like but if they're like all high up to the green, yeah, moods they need to be so good. Um, you know, good enough and you make so much more money. It really helps a lot. And it can be quite annoying, you know, having to put your moods up. Like you don't also have to spend B bucks because this goes to tip number four, mood stations. Um, you just kind of make um, a mood station <laughs> and it has like a, you know, it could be a sleeping bag, um, a fruit bowl, a TV or a book, depending how fast you want to go. If you have a TV, it will go faster, your moods go up, or you could just have a book, but that would take longer. And you could just have like a sink or whatever. Um, that would be like a mood station. And then you just go to your plot like every single time there, but you don't end your shift because... Um, you don't have to do that. It just has to be like an open area. You could just could put it around anywhere in your plot. It doesn't even have to be surrounded by walls. And that would be like a mood station. Every time your moods are down, you just go there and then it keeps on going up. It's a really good trick. You make way more money like that. And tip number five is long and daily. Now, this you could get daily rewards. You don't even have to play like blocks for that much. You could just really just get on. Um just to get the reward because i know like sometimes you don't feel like playing it but if you just like log in for like a quick second you could go ahead and get that reward which would be cash and then even in the seventh day you get b bucks but since it's hard to make more money in the six days you do get more money and it depends if you have premium if you have premium i think you get two thousand if you don't you get one thousand on day six i believe um you know it's it's easy money to make you don't have to do anything but log in so Again, first tip is work at Pizza Planet because they offer you the most money. Number two is work as a pizza deliverer because that job will make you the most money, especially when you get high up levels. Number three is have your moods up because you make way more money when you have your moods up. Like when you have your moods up, you almost make double or double. It really depends on see how high they're up. Mood stations, so you can get your moods up while you're working. You don't even have to end your shift. You just have to go to your plot. It makes this open. Um, you don't even need to have a door or anything because you really don't need the wall. It's just like a sleeping bag, a sink, a food bowl, and a TV or a book, depending how fast you want to go. And then log in daily so you can get your daily rewards. One to six, you would get money cash. Um, I think the highest, if you're premium, 2000 and the and if you don't have premium, 1000 on day 6. And, you know, for bonus, day 7, you would get B-Bucks. But that is how you can make more money in Bloxburg faster and quicker. Um, yeah, you just make more money. Hey, guys, that's all to today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys subscribe, give us a big thumbs up, and turn notification bell to also and post. And comment down below if you do already, if you do any of these tips already. I know, um, a lot of these tips are like main common things, but some people don't work as a pizza deliverer when that can make you the most money guaranteed. So you should really work as that one because that working as a job as a pizza delivery delivering pizzas 
will make you the most money. And these are five tips on how you can make more money in Blocksburg. Yeah, guys, that's all for today. See you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Hannah. Today, I'm in Blocksburg Roblox. And that is because I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how you can make more money in Blocksburg. Before I get started, make sure you guys subscribe to big thumbs up and turn notification bell to us and post videos. Let's get started. So, when I say make more money, I say making more money in general. It does not just mean by like, you know, working as a job, but just like anything. But most of these are job related because that's the best and fastest way you can make money. The first tip is to work as, um, look at Pizza Planet. So, Pizza Planet has the best jobs. It has two jobs, which is not a lot, but a baker and a pizza deliverer. This would bring me to number two, but Pizza Planet will make you earn the most money. And this goes to two if you work as a pizza deliverer. Like, if you if you deliver pizzas, that will guarantee you make the most money. Like, I am on, like, hold on, level 43 for delivery person and i make like two thousand or whatever 50 you make so much but this also brings me to today if having your moods up you make so much more money as well because if your moods are all like a hundred or if they're like all in like the green area like my moods are not the best only my energy is good um like but if they're like all high up to the green yet yeah, moods they need to be so good, um, you know, good enough, and you make so much more money. It really helps a lot. And it can be quite annoying, you know, having to pay your moods up. Like, you don't also have to spend B-Bucks because this goes to tip number four, mood stations. Um, you just kind of make um, a mood station. <laughs> and it has, like, a, you know, it could be a sleeping bag, um, a fruit bowl, a uh, TV or a book, depending how fast you want to go. If you have a TV, it will go faster. Your moods go up. Or you could just have a book, but that would take longer. And you could just have, like, a sink or whatever. Um, that would be, like, a mood station. And then you just go to your plot, like, every single time there. But you don't end your shift because um, you don't have to do that. It just has to be, like, an open area. You could just could put it around anywhere in your plot. It doesn't even have to be surrounded by walls. And that would be like a mood station. Every time your moods are down, you just go there and then it keeps on going up. It's a really good trick. You make way more money like that. And tip number five. Which